is your boy KQKC Boxing Network. And we are working it out. First of all, before I get started, please hit that like button. I need for you to share this video. I need for you to shake up that other rhythm. Now, let's get into this video. And after this video, I need for you to comment and let me know. Did I hit you with the facts or did I hit you with the feelings? Let me know, family. Now, Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford versus David Anonesia. Won't do 10 thousand pay per view buys that's according to Mr. Eddie Hearn of Matchroom slash the zone boxing now of course we know that Terrence Crawford is not a pay per view star yes they did build him up like they did Lomachenko they did not pad his resume, but he did fight the lesser competition than Earl Spence. Earl Spence has captured three belts to his one. But we got to go and check some things. First of all, Terrence Crawford is not the man that beat the man. Because Manny Pacquiao lost to Floyd Mayweather. Now, just like that, I could debunk a lot of things he has said. But, that's besides the point. Because he debunked his own lies when he interviewed. Now, let's get back to the matter at hand. Now, promoter, Eddie Hearn, he predicts on Saturday that Terrence Crawford who is fighting on BLK Prime's pay-per-view won't even bring in 10,000 pay-per-view buys. Now I would think a little higher than that. And Eddie feels that you know the WBO welterweight champion Terrence Crawford who is 38 and 0 29 KOs isn't big enough to do better than that especially with a fight against David Amnesia to even bring in a ton of buys see being inactive it didn't help his cause not one damn bit now see Crawford he haven't fought since 21 he haven't fought but what only once a year since 2020. Uh, with that inactivity alone, Crawford will have problems selling a pay-per-view against the little-known 34-year-old David Amnesia. Now, Terrence could tell you whatever he wants to tell you all. That's on him. But I know damn well nobody knows who David is. Now, David Amnesia might be a good fighter, and some people might have heard of him. But he is not a big enough draw. He is not a big name that jumps out at you. you just, he's a type of name that you have to go look him up. I'm sorry. That's facts, Bud Crawford fans. Bud sexuals, as y'all like to call yourselves. I'm sorry. These are the facts. Now... Of course, as I, I move on, see, Crawford has never established himself as a pay-per-view attraction. Now, he tried to do it against Sean Porter and Amir Khan. It didn't catch on. It did not catch on. Now, Hearn believes and feels 
that that reported 10 million that Crump was making for that fight would lead him wanting more money for a fight against Earl Spence. Like asking for like 20 million, which would make it difficult to make that fight happen. I told you all this. I told you all this. Now, this might be a little feelings in it. I don't know. You might have to be the judge of that. But it's factual. Terrence Crawford thought he was going to get a blank check at PBC. Why? Because PBC fighters make a lot of money. Depending on if you're a winning uh, fighter or an undefeated fighter or whatever. That's why Earl Spence is in a different tax bracket. If, if, if he wouldn't negotiate in good faith, if he didn't backdoor Earl Spence, I don't care what you call it. I want to stay busy, this and that. He could have waited a couple more months. It wasn't essential for a multi-millionaire to fight because I got to feed my family. Well, if they ain't eating, then something wrong. If they ain't eating, something goddamn wrong. Now, because I can make a million dollars too, trust me, last longer for years. So you ain't doing something right, Mr. Crawford. Now, as I move on. Now, once again, factual. If you such a Bud Crawford fan, and keep in mind, I'm not an Earl Spence fan. I mean, I like Earl Spence. Hell, I like Terrence Crawford. But you know I am a big Charlo fan, especially Jamel. You know I am a big Roman Gonzalez fan. Chocolito. I was very disappointed this weekend, but they had it closer than I thought. It should have been a draw. So, now, we'll talk about that a little later. Now, of course, once again, getting back to this. Now, factual. He never been a pay-per-view star. Everyone knows that. And I'm quite sure BLK Prime did their homework. But BLK Prime is thirsty enough and want to get out there and hit the pavement and run it without paying the dues. Then that's on them. Sometimes you cannot put all your eggs in one basket. Let's say, and I'm just going to throw this out there, hi- hypothetically. Let's say Kid Austin, great fighter. He signed with Golden Boy, but let's just say he wasn't. BLK Prime should make a pitch for that young man. Let's build this young man up. Let's build around this young man. But besides that, they go after a guy. That already established. 35 years of age. Career is winding down. Not a pay-per-view attraction. Never have been. And also, you have another guy. That had proven time and time again. That he don't want to fight. He's lazy. And I know what he says. He has a new leaf and a new foundational life. But we heard that shit before. It would take him literally three years of not going to jail, not drinking and driving, not being that twin, not being that can man for us to really take him seriously. Do BLK Prime have that money and that time? Their net worth is $5 million. Now, as I move on, Bill Crawford had hit the media circus. Remember, he didn't speak at top rank. Was that because Bob said, shut the fuck up? Or because he didn't want to talk? Or maybe he couldn't talk? But that's besides the point because every time he talks he put his foot in his mouth or he correct the lies he told before in the interview before that one I suggested get a PR firm I suggested 
Let someone speak for you. Now, getting back to the fight. Top rank brought all, all the stars out this Saturday night. He, they gonna end the year with the bang. They are bringing out all, all the great fighters. And we are talking about one in particular, Keyshawn Davis. Now, he's under the tutelage of none other than Brian Bomack McIntyre. Now, a lot of people ask me, KQ, who coin you think you're gonna be in? I said, Keyshawn Davis. Have you seen Bo Mack around? Terrence interviews? Have he has given his interview or his take on BLK Prime? No, he has not. I wonder why. Wink, wink. Now, of course, at 35 years old, Crawford is a little too long in the tooth for Eddie Hearn. Now, to try and build him from the ground up in a major as a major star because it would take too long he's 35 years old he doesn't have enough years left in his career for that kind of undertaking it's Crawford is only willing to fight for a huge amounts of money wow he must really love the sport or the money which one is it now, let me correct something. Now, this is my opinion. No one, no one ever, ever would think you set trends of undisputed. Not only did you have undisputed before your ass, Earl Spence said this a long time ago. A long time ago when your ass was down at 140. That he want all I repeat, all, I repeat, all the bills. So, once again, and don't get me wrong, I'm not hating on BLK Prime, because I told you, and you go check my receipts. I told you, competition is great. Competition is the best, because the better competition, the more of competition, the more they pr- drive down the pay-per-view prices and and we get better fights. Competition is a great thing. I wish nothing but success for BLK Prime. Why? Come my boy, Blue Blood Sports TV is on that team. No matter how, no matter how I feel about Terrence Crawford, he is my brother. Not only in LDBC, I fuck with blue blood. And you keep doing your thing. You win it. You win it, dude. But I'm going to tell you one thing. Terrence Crawford, you're not winning, son. And don't buy into Adrian Broner bullshit. We heard this before. We seen this before. Just recently. Just recently. So, but I'm not BLK Prime. Maybe they see something in him that they want. Or somebody in BLK Prime might be, it's an Adrian Broner fan. And they particularly picked him out for a reason. That's all I'm saying. (laughs) Wow. But once again, we got nothing but boxing. Saturday. Once again, Eddie Hearn do not believe. Do not believe they would even do ten thousand pay per view buy. That's that's very bad. Now, of course, these tickets went on Ticketmaster, but ended up on Groupon. Now, I'm not trying to make fun or light of that, but it is what it is, you all. It is what it is. Terrence Crawford is a selfish son of a bitch. I'm sorry. I told y'all call balls and strikes here. He's a selfish son of a bitch. And let me tell you why. He has his money up front. 
he won't walk in that ring without the other half of his money. Now, you think Terrence Crawford would say, well, don't worry about it. We'll work it out. Let's get the fight on. No, that's not him. He would try to backdoor your ass. He would try to do is shout out to my man Keon, everything boxing. He would try that nat nat boo boo shit. I got the belt you wanted, so I need the right price. I need the right price. See, that's the type of guy he is. That's the type of man he is. That's the type of guy that I could be friends with. Not only because of his selfishness, his self center ass. But I might have to hurt him if we were friends in real life. I would. Because he believes his shit don't stink. I'm the best fighter in the world. No, you're not. It's a level of competition. You put my ass in there with a third grader, I'm going to look good. So, but in closing, 10,000 paid per view buys. You got to do better than that, son. Now, it's just about the money. You look at Terrence Crawford. He's making $10 million to fight David Amnesia. Now, this is Eddie Hearns saying this. Eddie Hearns said, uh, said Eddie Hearns to the media last Saturday night in Glendale, Arizona. He said, if it's 60 bucks, it won't do 10,000 buys. If you're getting paid that much to fight David Amnesia, you want 20 million to fight Earl Spence or 25? which is still too much money. So everybody's going to get mad. The problem is, if it's out there, I said it's not the right commercial price or the commercial value. But if it's out there, it's just madness. It just feels like you're going to be inactive. These guys are so inactive. Earl Spence now, when he is going to fight, is it going to be March with Keith Thurman or something like that? Not for that sort of money, said Eddie Hearn. When asked if he can promote Terrence Crawford, but at the same time, he's an unbelievable fighter, he said. The way you promote a fighter is you build them. Oh, man, did I just say that? You build them. That's how you promote a fighter. Didn't I just tell your kid, Austin? All right, man. We might, man. Okay. Okay. You have to get a hold of them early enough. Look at Diego Pacheco. He's a good example. He turns pro at 17. Start boxing him on the big shows. He looks good. He started knocking people out. He's from South Central L.A. And then you fight him on the car all of a sudden. And you hear a much bigger round of applause when he walks in. I am KQKC Boston Network. If, if you like, if you like the content of this video, feel free right now to hit that like button. Leave a comment down at the bottom. Let me know, did I hit it on the head? Let me know, was that facts or was that feelings? Because you got to have the facts over the feelings. So you let me know. Shout out to the almighty LDBC. And shout out to Black Media's Row. And with that, I will see you all today at 11 a.m. Central Time. I come on Monday through Friday, 11 o'clock a.m. Central Time. There's a fight on like this Saturday. I'm your man. I'm on in for a long haul. I have literally, literally caught two fights at one time. Well, how you do that, KQ? We just got to go back and watch it. <laughs> yes, sir. And don't forget, me and Knockout Boxing will be live this Sunday. 
right here on KQKC Boxing Network. We'll be going over all the fights on the morning after show. Tune in. You won't be disappointed. We talking nothing but straight boxing. And with that, I'm out of here and definitely on to the next one. Peace.